Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play a fingerstyle arrangement of Glimpse of Us. So let's get into it. So for this arrangement, we are in standard tuning, all open strings, no capo. If you want to play it in the original key, just need to put a capo on the first fret and play everything one fret higher. And also all the tabs for this are available on my Patreon page. If you want them, you can check out the link down below. It really helps support my channel. So I've divided this song into a few different parts. Let's start with the intro. It sounds like this. So we start off with this chord, which is an A minor 7 chord. You have to bar the 5th fret of the D string, the G string and the B string with the index finger like this. So you bar starting from the 5th fret of D string all the way up to the B string. And you also have the open A string there. So on the right hand you're plucking the A string, the D string, G string and the B string with a roll like that. And after that you have this part. So there you're playing the 7th fret of the B string and the 8th fret of the B string with the little finger. So you're doing that while you're holding the chord. So first you ring the chord with the roll, like that. And then you play the 7th fret and then the 8th fret. And then you change to this chord. So there you have a D7 chord, you have the open D string, the 5th fret of the G string and the 7th fret of the B string. You pluck all of them together, the D string, G string and the B string, like that. And then you have this part. So there you move all the way down to the 3rd fret of the high E string. You play the 3rd fret and then the 5th fret of the high E string. And then he changed to this chord, which is actually a portion of a G major chord. So there on the left hand you have the 3rd fret of the low E string, the 3rd fret of the B string and the 3rd fret of the high E string. You also have the open G string there in between. So with the right hand you're plucking the low E string, the G string, the B string and the high E string together. Like that. So all together you have this. And then you have this part. So there you're switching from the 3rd fret of the high E string to the 2nd fret of the high E string. You're playing that with the index finger. So all together again. And then you change to this chord, which is an E minor chord. 
So there you have the open low E string, the open G string, the open B string and the open high E string. You plug all of them together like that. So all together from the start of the intro you have this so far. I'll play it really slow. And after that you have this part. So here we have an A minor 7 chord again but in a different position. So you need to hold the 2nd fret of the D string and the 1st fret of the B string. All the rest of the strings are open. So with the right hand you plug the open A string the open G string, the first fret of the B string and the open high E string all together like that while holding the chord and then you have this part where you're playing the second fret of the high E string and then the third fret of the high E string while holding the chord like that I'll do that again really slow And then you change to this chord. There you have a D13 chord. So you have the open D string there, the 5th fret of the G string, the 7th fret of the B string and the 7th fret of the high E string. So you plug the open D string, G string, B string and the high E string together like that. And right after you plug the chord you have this. So there you change from the 7th fret of the high E string to the 5th fret of the high E string. I'm playing that note with my middle finger there. Just play the note on the 5th fret of the high E string. And then you change to this chord. So here you have a G major 9 chord. You have to hold the 3rd fret of the low E string and the 5th fret of the high E string. You also have the open G and the open B string there. So with the right hand you're plucking the low E string, the open G string, the open B string and the high E string. Like that. And I often play it like this. It's exactly the same thing. I'm playing the third fret of the low E string with the thumb. You can play it with the index finger as well. And right after you pluck the chord, you have this part where you're playing the second fret of the high E string and then the third fret of the high E string while the chord is ringing. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. And then you change to this. So there you have the open E minor chord again where you have the low E string, the G string, the B string and the high E string all of which are open. You plug all of them together like that. So from the last chord you have this. So that's the whole intro. I'll play the whole thing once from the start. It sounds like this. And after that we have the verse which sounds like this. So there we start off with an E minor chord. You need to hold down the 2nd fret of the D string. And on the right hand you have to play the open low E string, the 2nd fret of the D string, the open G string and the open B string together with a roll like that. And after that you play the open B string 3 more times. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. 
So you get this. And then you have this part. So there you play the open low E string again as the bass note. And then you play the open B string three more times again, just like before. So all together you get this. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this part. Where you play the low E string again. And then you play the second fret of the G string. And then pull off to the open G string. So all together you get this. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the bass note, the low E string. And then you're playing the note on the second fret of the G string two times. And then you're playing the open B string. Like that. So all together from the start again, we have this so far. And then you have this part. So there you start off by playing this. So you're playing the open A string and the open B string together. And then you're hammering on onto the first fret of the B string with the index finger. Like that. So now you have an A minor chord. And after that you have this. Where you lift this finger back up, so now you have the open B string again. You're playing the open B string, then the second fret of the G string, and then the open B string again. So all together you have this. Then you do the hammer on again with the open A string, just like before. So again, all together. One more time. And to end, you just play the bass note, the open A string, two more times. Like that. So all together you have this. So again from the start of the verse, we have this so far. And after that you have this part. So there we start off with this chord. So there I'm playing the note on the second fret of the low E string with the thumb. You can play it with your index finger if you want. So you have the second fret of the low E string, the open D string and the second fret of the G string. And you plug them like that with a roll, the low E string the open D string and the G string and you have this so then right after you plug the chord you're playing the note on the second fret of the G string three more times like that and after that you have this part So again, just like before, you play the note, the bass note on the 2nd fret of the low E string again. And then you play the note on the 2nd fret of the G string 3 more times. So all together you have this. And after that you have this part. Where you're playing the note on the 2nd fret of the low E string. And then the open D string. So again, all together from the start. And after that you have this part. So there you play the note, the bass note on the 2nd fret of the low E string again. And then this time you play the open G string two times. And then you hammer on onto the 2nd fret of the G string with your middle finger. Like that. So all together from the start you have this. One more time really slow.
and then he changed to this part so you start by playing this where you have the third fret of the low e string and the open b string together plug them both together like that and then you have this part so there you're playing the second fret of the g string then you're pulling off to the open g string and then you're hammering on back to the second fret of the g string like that and after that you play this chord again the third fret of the low e string and the open b string in the end so all together you have this one more time and to end you just play the bass note on the third fret of the low e string two more times like that so i'll play the whole thing from the start of the verse till this point we have this so far and after that we have this part This next part is very similar to the part that you played before but it has a few variations. So the very first thing that you have to play sounds like this. This is exactly the same thing that you played earlier. You played it in the first part. But after that you have this part. So there you're playing the low E string which is open and the open high E string together. and then you're hammering on onto the second fret of the high e string with your ring finger like that and then you're playing the third fret of the high e string like that so all together you have this and then you have to change to this part This part is also very similar to the part that you played before the change on the A minor chord but I'll go through it again. So you have an A minor chord here, you have the second fret of the D string, the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string. You start by plucking the open A string and the first fret of the B string together. And then you pull off from the first fret to the open B string. Like that. And then you play the second fret of the G string. and then you play the open b string like that so all together you have this and then you do the hammer on again where you're playing the open a string and the open b string and then you're hammering on onto the first fret of the b string and in the end you're playing the bass note two more times the open a string So all together you have this And if you play it with the previous part And after that you have this part there again you have this chord where you have the second fret of the low e string and the second fret of the g string we played this before so this is the exact same thing that you played before and then you have this new part so there you plug the open d string first and then you plug the second fret of the g string and the second fret of the low e string together like that and then you do the hammer on where you play the open b string and then you hammer on onto the first fret of the b string 
So all together you get this. One more time really slow. So all together you have this. And then you change to this chord. So there you start with this chord. Where you have the third fret of low E string and you're playing that with the open G string and the open P string. So on the right hand you're plucking the low E string, the open G string and the open B string together. And then you're playing the bass note again. And then you're changing the bass note to the second fret of the low E string and you're playing that two times. Like that. So I'll play it from the last chord once. So that's the whole verse. I'll play the whole thing once from the start. It sounds like this. And after that we have a very short pre-chorus part, it sounds like this. So we start by playing the 3rd fret of the high E string. And then you play the 2nd fret of the high E string. Like that. And then you change to an A minor chord where you have the 2nd fret of the D string, the 2nd fret of the G string and the 1st fret of the B string. So on the right hand you plug the open A string, the G string, the B string and the open high E string all together. Like that. So you get this. And then you have this part. So there with the little finger you play the 2nd fret of the high E string. And then you move and you move to the third fret of the high E string and you play that note as well. So you get this. I'll do that again really slow. And then you change to this chord, which is actually a D7 chord. You have the fifth fret of the G string here. And you also have the 7th fret of the B string. So on the right hand you plug the open D string, the G string and the B string together. Like that. And right after you plug the chord you have this. So there while the chord is still ringing, you play the 8th fret of the B string with your little finger like that. And right after that you have this part. So there, while still holding on to this note on the 5th fret of the G string, you have to change the position of this finger to the 7th fret of the high E string. You play that note and then you hammer on from the 7th fret to the 8th fret using your little finger on the high E string. So all together you get this. So all together for the pre-chorus you have this. And after that we have the chorus which sounds like this.
So you start off by playing the open B string two times and then you change to this chord, the A minor 7 chord. So for this chord you have the second fret of the D string and the first fret of the B string. You also have the open A string and the open G string there. So on the right hand you pluck, you're plucking the open A string, the D string, the open G string and the B string together. The four strings all together like that. So you get this. And after that you have this part. So there you're plucking the first fret of the B string again. And after that you pluck the open A string and the first fret of the B string. And then you pull off from the first fret to the open B string. So all together from the start you get this. I'll do that again. And right after that you have this part. So there you have to play the note on the second fret of the G string with your ring finger. And then you're playing the open B string. Like that. So all together from the start you get this. And then you change to this chord. So that's actually a portion of a D7 chord. You have the second fret of the G string. And you also have the first fret of the B string. You play that with the open D string. So on the right hand you're plucking the open D string, the G string and the B string together. Like that. And right after you plug the D7 chord, you play the first fret of the B string again. And then you have this part. So there you're plucking the open D string and the first fret of the B string together. And then you're pulling off to the open B string. Then you're playing the note on the second fret of the G string. And then you're playing the open B string. Like that. So all together you have this from the part where you plug the chord. And if you play it from the start you have this. And play it again really slow. And right after that you have this part. So there you have to play the 3rd fret of the low E string and the open B string together. I'm playing this note with the thumb. And after that you play the note on the 3rd fret of the B string. Like that. And then you have this part. So there you're playing the open D string and the 7th fret of the high E string together. And then you're playing the 3rd fret of the high E string. Like that. So all together you get this. And after that you have this part. So there you have to play the note on the 5th fret of the high E string. And then you play the open low E string as the bass note and after that you pull off from the 5th fret to the 3rd fret on the high E string and then you play the note on the 5th fret of the B string so I'm playing that note with my middle finger so you have this one more time really slow I'll do that again So all together from the start, we have this so far. And right after you play the note on the 5th fret of the B string, you play the bass note, the open low E string again. Like that. So all together you have this from the start. And after that you just repeat this entire thing that I played. So I'll play it again from the start. You have this. And 
enough that you have this part. So there you play the note on the second fret of the high E string and then you slide to the third fret. Like that. And then you change to this chord really quickly. This is the A minor 7 chord again. So here again you have the second fret of the D string and the first fret of the B string on the left hand. So on the right hand you plug the open A string, the open G string, the first fret of the B string and the open high E string together this time. And then you have this part where you're plucking the open A string and the open high E string together and then you're hammering on onto the second fret of the high E string and then you're playing the third fret of the high E string. I'll do that again really slow. And then you change to this chord. It's actually a D7 chord. So there on the left hand you have the second fret of the G string, the first fret of the B string and the second fret of the high E string. And you also have the open D string there. So on the right hand you're plucking the open D string, the G string, B string and the high E string together. Like that. And right after you plug the chord you have this. So there you're plucking the chord a second time. And then you're playing the third fret of the high E string. And then the fifth fret of the high E string. Like that. So this entire part on the D7 chord sounds like this. And if you play it from the very beginning you have this. Right after that you have this part. So there you start from the 7th fret of the high E string which you have to play with your little finger. And you have to plug the open D string, the open G string and the open B string with that note. So on the right hand I'm plucking the D string, G string, B string and the high E string. Like that. And while the chord is ringing you do this. So right after you pluck the first chord. Then you change to this note on the 5th fret of the high E string and you play that and then you change to this note on the 3rd fret of the high E string and you play that. Like that. I'll do that again really slow. And then you have this part. So there I'm plucking the open D string and the 7th fret of the high E string together. Then I'm playing the 5th fret of the high E string and then I'm doing this where I'm playing the third fret of the high E string and then hammering on onto the fifth fret. So all together you get this. I'll do that again. And if you play the whole thing from the start. One more time. And then you change to this chord, which is an open E minor chord. So there I'm plucking the low E string, the G string, the B string and the high E string, all of which are open. Plug them all together like that. So all together you get this. I'll do that again. And then you have this part. There you have to play the 3rd fret of the high E string with the open low E string together. You plug them both together. Then you play the 2nd fret of the high E string. And then you play the open B string. Like that. And then you change to this chord. So there again you have the A minor 7 chord, you have the 2nd fret of the D string and the 1st fret of the B string on the left hand. 
So you start by plucking the chord from the A string to the B string. You're playing the A string, D string, G string and the B string together on the right hand. And right after you pluck the chord, you play the bass note again, the open A string. Like that. So I played from the previous part, you have this. One more time, really slow. So just for reference, I play the whole thing from the start till this point. So we have this so far. And then you have this part. So right after you played the A minor 7 chord here, you play the 3rd fret of the B string. And then you play, then you change to this chord. So here you have the D13 chord again. So on the left hand you have the 5th fret of the G string, the 7th fret of the B string and the 7th fret of the high E string. So you plug the open D string, the G string, B string and the high E string together. And then you lift this finger up and you play this note on the 5th fret of the high E string. Like that. And then you change to this. So there you have the bass note on the 3rd fret of the low E string and you have the melody note on the 3rd fret of the high E string. You start by playing the bass note once and then you play the melody note two times. The note on the high E string. And then after that you just play the bass note three more times in rhythm. Like that. So from the last part it sounds like this. So that's the whole chorus, I'll play the whole thing once, it sounds like this. So far we have the intro, the verse and then the chorus. After that the song goes into the verse again which is exactly the same as what you played earlier. And then we have the second chorus. So the second chorus is also exactly the same as what you played earlier, the previous chorus. But the very last chord of the second chorus is different because the song goes into the bridge after that. So before explaining I'll play from the last bit of the second chorus. It sounds like this. So there in the end of the second chorus, right after you played this part, then you change to this chord. So that's actually an A minor 7 chord. So there on the left hand you have the first fret of the B string and the third fret of the high E string. So you start by plucking the open A string, the open G string and the first fret of the B string together. Like that. Pluck them all together. And then you play the note on the third fret of the high E string two times. Like that. So you get this.
then you just play the bass note the open a string one more time and then you change to this chord so there you have a portion of a d7 chord you have the second fret of the g string and the first fret of the b string so you plug the open d string the g string and the b string together and after that you have this so there you're plucking the open d string and the third fret of the high e string together and then you're playing the second fret of the high e string so all together you get this and if you play it with the first part I'm really slow and then you change to this chord so there you have a portion of a G major chord I'm playing the third fret of the low E string with the thumb and also the open G string and the open B string all together so I'm plucking the low E string the G string and the B string together like that and then I'm playing the bass note three more times like that. So all together from the start you have this so far. And after that you have this part. So there again you start with the A minor 7 chord again, you have to hold the first fret of the B string. So you start by plucking the open A string, the open G string and the first fret of the B string together. And then you play the bass note again, the open A string. And after that you have this. It's basically the same thing that you played before, you change to the D7 chord where you have the second fret of the G string and the first fret of the B string and you play those two with the open D string so pluck all of them together and then you have this part where you're plucking the third fret of the high E string with the open D string and then you're playing the second fret of the high E string so all together you have this and then you have this part so there again you have the portion of the G major chord where you have the 3rd fret of the low E string, the open G string and the open B string together first. Plug them together like that. And then you have to add this note on the 3rd fret of the B string. So now you're plucking the 3rd fret of the low E string, the open G string and the 3rd fret of the B string together. Like that. So all together you have this. And then you change to this chord. So that's actually a portion of an E7 chord. You have the first fret of the G string and the third fret of the B string. You also have the open low E string and the open high E string. So on the right hand I'm plucking the open low E string, the G string, B string and the open high E string together. Like that. And right after you plug the chord, you play the bass note again, the open low E string. Like that. So that's how you play the ending of the second chorus and then the bridge. So I'll play the whole thing once from that last part. It sounds like this. And then the song goes back into the chorus again. This is exactly the same as what you played earlier. And after this last chorus, the song ends. So let's discuss the song structure once. So that's the whole song. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helped. All the tabs for this lesson are available on my Patreon page. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to my channel. Also, if you have any questions or requests for song tutorials, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. I'll see you in the next video.